Yo, what is up? Trisha, me here. Tuesday. Look at you early people. I usually start this with nobody here yet. You guys are... I mean, I guess I started stream late, but... <laughs> How's it going? You're my biggest fan and Mahir's a fake fan? You can't make claims like that, you know? You gotta prove it. You gotta back up your claim. You know? <laughs> I'm sure Mahir is not a fake fan. I'm sure he's a real fan. He probably has shit to do. He probably has homework, you know? Maybe he has an assignment due tomorrow. All right? I have an ass assignment due tomorrow. I just grinded it out today, so here we are at 10 p.m. 10 13 p.m. actually. But Tuesday, why'd you change your name? Your towel is gone. That's why you changed it. Oh sh! Why is your towel gone though? Wait, what happened? What happened to your towel? No beef, only chicken. <laughs> Stream elements on that wacky tobacco. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you see in my channel point redeems or my clerk point redeems, you can make any command you want. All right, for the for the bot. So Tuesday made that one. <laughs> you left your towel at a friend's house and he moved away. Shit, dude. Was it like a special towel? What'd you use this towel for on Tuesday? What'd you use this towel for? If you don't, I'm, don't mind me asking. Oh, it's a mom jean song. Shit. I'm uncultured. I'm uncultured. I thought you were talking about your real chat towel. I was kind of sussed out. But yeah, what are you guys up to today? Like, Trisha and me here, do you guys not have, like, Suffering assignments due tomorrow? Are you chilling? Was reaching its limit. Can we already watch this? Down. We already watched that cutscene last time. So now we can just go in. Good old Midwest pop punk. Austin, you must watch Spy Family. I I watched the first episode. I was just, I just didn't watch it the day and it came out. I I am watching it. Don't worry. You have assignment due tomorrow. I feel that. I got out of the way early. Thank God. Unless you want to die, I suggest you get the hell out of my way. Ouch. I'm already out of practice, man. I feel like I suck at the game. Here we go. Is that better? Oh, this guy's still alive. We'll show him who's boss with the motorcycle. Don't worry. You've been helping people beat the millennia fight? Stop. You could you could help people beat that? Because if you know me, I've never beat that fight. Get out of here, buddy. Wow, that was a terrible style rating. You're in bed instead of doing your assignment. Why? Just get it done. Don't procrastinate. Just get it out of the way. And then you'll have the whole weekend ahead of you. Come on. You gotta do it. Just crack down and do it. You don't have to watch my stream. Like, actually, you have so much free time. You just... Tomorrow... Start your weekend early, you know? Trust me. But yes, yeah, Spy Family is very cute. I find it very enjoyable. Um, it's a good contrast between... Because I'm watching Spy Family with my... Wait, how do I get in here? Do I just break it? Oh, okay. I'm watching Spy Family with my girlfriend, but I'm also watching Made in Abyss with my girlfriend, so like... It's a... It's a big change. In, uh, tone for the two shows, you know? But it's good. It's good. I like to switch it up. We're very behind on Main Abyss, but we'll get there. Main Abyss Season 2, to be more precise. Oh, 
We'll get him. Uh oh. Oh shit. Let's get him with this. Oh yeah. Launch him. Is that Dante I see says Slamzy? Yes. It is him, actually. You're right. How do I get these guys to stop spinning? Ow! I don't understand! Not too good. Not very good. Wait, bleed and fire incantations are really good against- Dude, I literally used bleed and I still took like 70 attempts and never won. I finally got that motorcycle weapon from DMC3. Isn't that sick? Spyrion? No way, bro. You're live? What? I'm live every week? What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? Ryan, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen your name in chat. I must, I must know you, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so long. Obviously, your name's Ryan, but. My going live notification? What about it? Isn't it cool? I forget what I even have it as. What do I have it as? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whispering That's the way to get their attention, you know People are like what? Oh, Jesus just whispered to me. That's crazy. What's he saying? You know, that's my strat No way my name's Ryan. Oh, okay. I thought it was my bad my bad How are you doing tonight Ryan? I mean not Ryan This place looks strikingly similar to a DMC1 location where I fought Shadow. Am I crazy? Or am I... Do I have a good memory for once? You need some blood, huh? Sorry. You wouldn't like mine. Examine. Can I fill up some blood? What? More puzzles. You're doing all right? I mean, but what are you up to, you know? Like, playing games tonight or what? Just chilling? Watching a show? I am almost done Cobra Kai, people. And then, which is, you know, it's good. Don't even at me. Cobra Kai is one of the best shows out there. It's so t entertaining. And, um, then I'll watch that new Star Wars show, I think. Andor? Andor? I don't know how to say it. I'm not that big of a Star Wars nerd. I guess we're going up here. Huh. Blood the gun in there. Drinking? The pools down there and get filled. What are you drinking? Now you got me curious. So, I have to choose a door to use this on, because there's two doors and one hatchling. But I'm assuming I can't get soft locked, so let's just go for... ...the one on the bottom, just because... ...why not? Yuengling and Guinness? Yo, what? I've never heard of Yuengling. I know what Guinness is. What's Yuengling? Cause Guinness is a beer, right? <laughs> At least it's like they make beer. It's a company. Get him. 
Oh my, it's the queen. How do I hit this guy harder? Hit him with this. Hit him with this. Ouch. What if I hit him with the devil trigger, you know? And then the kicks. Oh, he's dead. Shit, dude. It's a logger, both beards? Shit. I'm, I am a nerd. I don't know anything about beer. Honestly, I barely ever drink them. I'm not like a huge beer guy. But now that it's not summer anymore, I can't drink seltzers anymore. That'd be weird, right? But um, speaking of beer, recently I went to a restaurant called Beer Town. I don't know if that's like a wide chain or just like around here, but like um, they have this thing called Beer Mageddon, where you like, there's like 32. Like little like half glasses of beer. What half pint? No pint. No, I don't know how half pint. I Don't know. It's like a, a pretty small glass of beer, but there's 32 of them So it's still a lot and they're all different and you get to just try all of them. It's pretty fun Hello Oh, hello. That's enough of that. Let's ignite the flame. Am I right? Yeah, let's ignite it. Alright, there we go. But yeah, Beer Mageddon. If you have a beer town near you, it is definitely worth it. You have to have minimum four people because they don't want people just getting absolutely plastered by themselves, I guess. It's supposed to be a group thing, but you need to try so many. And it's so fun because they bring it out on this massive platter. You make the waitress, like, I remember when I ordered it, the waitress, like, looked at me like, fuck. And I have to carry that freaking big ass thing throughout the entire restaurant trying not to hit people. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Bart Ryan though I know your your username f is definitely familiar like I don't know how I came how I met you on twitch or off twitch and now I am curious I'm trying to think but I don't know Spart I don't know my high school mascot was like a Spartan, so like I'm just tripping out right now. If you don't like beer, should you still go to Beer Town? I mean, honestly, if you don't like beer, it's still fun. It's still fun getting drunk with your friends on like some beer or a little buzzed at least. And because like I don't even like beer that much, right? But some of them are good, some of them you'll like if you try them all. Some of them are like. They taste not really like beer. And some of them just taste better than others. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. Yep. I'd say more. still go. And get beer Mageddon. Definitely worth it. Definitely a special occasion kind of thing though. Like I did it for my birthday. I don't think I'd be able to do it just some random time. It's gotta be like... Some kind of celebration or like get together with old friends or something, you know? Something more substantial than just a random Friday night. It's also expensive there, like kind of bougie. It's nice in there though. 
I'm stuck! When was my birthday? Oh, it was a while ago now. It was on the 25th of September. It still feels recent though. School just makes everything go so fast, eh? Like... Noise. But thank you for the belated birthday wishes. Yo, it was my first time going to Beer Town. That one time. Alright, like, I feel you on that. I just finally went and... I mean, like, it's a... I see why it's busy. Like, it's a nice atmosphere. Their food is, like... It's alright. You know, it's nothing special, but... I feel like if you go to Beer Town, you gotta get beer. You know? Even if you don't like beer. Oh, shit. I see. So, like, it didn't matter which door you picked. You just did it in a different order. Cool. You missed my birthday? It's fine, don't worry. There's always next year. Except for the one year where there is no next year, but hopefully that's not this year. <laughs> so don't worry about it. When, when's your birthday? Are you, uh... Coming up, or...? Because uh, most people I know are before me. I'm a pretty late birthday, but some people are later. You never know. It's not like I'm December. January 2nd? Oh, jeez. buddy that is very early that's almost as early as you can be what do you mean pretty early that's extremely early you could literally be a year older than you are oh shit I think this is a, a royal guard kind of thing know some people that are born just like sometime in January and because of that they like go into school early like they start so technically they would be like three years old but then they go into like junior kindergarten where you're supposed to be four years old because it's like like you're basically the year before like you're old enough that you could you could qualify I guess for the year above so you just go in early I know some people like that I know some people, it's like middle of January and they do that. I also know some people that do the opposite way where they're in December and they go down a year. But yeah, it's weird. I don't know why parents decide to do that, but I have met multiple people that do that. Um, how do I get in here? This is like a maze in here. I don't even know where to go. Oh shit. Ouch. Ouch.
Get him. Oh my god, man. Keep going. Hit all of them. Uh oh. That's not good. They're gonna hit me. Never mind. We're fine. Oh, they still hit me. We'll do it again. And I'll talk. When you were in high school so bad because of grade 12 second semester and everyone to class because I signed myself out, out all the time. I knew a lot of people that did that too that had early birthdays. <laughs> yeah. I never did that, but all those early birthday kids, they got to do that. It's like, I'm an adult now. I can sign myself out and I don't want to be in class right now. So see ya. <laughs> One life hack or not life hack, but I guess a, a school hack that I did because my mom is nice enough. She just wrote me like a generic note saying I didn't feel well and like signed it. And then I would just use the same note. <laughs> Whenever I wanted to leave, she's like, yeah, that's fine. Like, if you feel like you want to leave, just do it. So, like, I just had a crumpled up note in my backpack that I just showed to the teacher every time. And they weren't going to say anything about it either because, like, I was a good student. I never caused any issues. Like, they, they probably, like, I was probably one of their favorite students not to, like, be that guy. But, like, there's, they had no reason to, like, question it. They're like, yeah, he feels bad. It's whatever. <laughs> W mom, right? No, because I remember like one teacher like He just hated when I was late because I walked to school because I'm so close to it I would be late by like a minute or two just all the time because I'm like, oh, it's whatever like I want to wake up as late as possible so I can sleep as long as I can and then just like barely get to school on time You know and then sometimes I'd come in during the announcements or the national anthem or whatever and my one teacher would get really mad he's like you know if you if you come to late come late to class three times i will give you detention that's the rules i'm like what i come late to like every class with every teacher and no teacher has ever said that to me he's the only one who enforces that dumb rule just because he doesn't like the fact that he has to be there early i guess in the morning for his job and i just show up like a minute after like like it doesn't really matter to me it's not like he started teaching the material yet you know so I didn't think it was bad, but anyway, he hated it. So I just had the generic note saying I felt bad in the morning for my mom every time. And then he stopped asking me because he probably thought I had like chronic, you know, nausea in the mornings or something like I was pregnant or something. I don't know. <laughs> Usually teachers would just be like, that's not OK. You got to be on time. OK, I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I don't. Because, I mean, sometimes I would come to class. There's one particular time I would go to class with, like, 20 minutes left in the class. And people were like, why'd you even bother coming? I'm like, this is just as soon as I could come to school. What do you mean? I was, you know, eating my oatmeal and watching One Piece. All right? <laughs> you know, it was just a work period to work on my essay, and I was already done. So, who cares, right? Who cares? Don't want to keep Mr. Demon Queen waiting. Gotta pick up the pace. Why am I using the motorcycle to break that? I don't know. Okay, we gotta be optimal on this guy. I'm ready. Oh, okay, that was I think that was pretty decent. I think I got a lot of orbs out of that. That was a pretty optimal combo. I switched it up. I don't know. I tried my best. Three, two, one, zero. Oh my why what's with all these like flesh cages? I hate them. I gotta take out these mages first, you know? Oh, yeah. 
Break dancing. Okay, can we get most of can we get both of them with this? Oh yeah we can. We're getting all of them right now. I only got a rank though. I should have used the a hack to this game is just using Balrog like the fist weapon that lights on fire because it automatically makes your style go up like so fast for no reason. I guess because stylish to light yourself on fire, which which makes sense. Also, Trish, I never asked, but like, what's your like rank on Valorant? Because you seem to play it a lot. I'm curious. Wow, a gold orb that I'm never going to use. That's fun. Your plat three is... What's the top rank? Is plat one the top rank? Oh, diamond is oh diamond. True, true, true. Ooh, that should be all of them. Yeah, I've, I've been a while never since ever been ranked. I've never tried to rank. I guess in any of those kind of games, because screw that. Like, you know, you have to put a lot of time to get good, as good as you are, and even better. Like, so much time. Radiant is the highest rank. I've never even heard of that, which makes sense. Probably reserved for like esports professionals. So I've never even heard of Radiant, other than the anime Radiant <laughs> or the manga, whatever, both. I never went through here. What's in here? Or wait, did I? Oh, I think I'm just getting lost. I should just move forward, shouldn't I? Mihir said top 8 to 10 percent. That's really good though. That is pretty impressive. What's what's Mihir's rank on League of Legends? <laughs> I'm not trying to like make you two compete. I'm just just wondering. Oh shit, how am I gonna do this? Does it want me to fly? Yo! Oh wait, I guess the blood. Never mind. This opened up. But what? I wanted to get to those other spots. Okay, I guess next time I play through this game, I will. Cause now we're just gonna try to play the game. <laughs> you don't think you'll ever hit radiant, but you do want to hit immortal someday, which is the rank right under radiant. Oh my god, there's way more ranks than I thought. I thought diamond was highest. <laughs> But when you said plat, I thought plat might be higher than diamond. So it's plat, diamond, immortal, then radiant? Man, this brings me back. Yo, this is another, like, location from a previous DMC game. That's why you just said that. I'm not crazy. It's so crazy, man. Can I, like, hit this or... There we go. You peaked Diamond 4, which is top 1%. Yo, let's go. But right now, you're Plat 3, which is top 7. That's still really good, though. I bet when you were top 1%, you probably put in way more hours than you could possibly put in right now. So, 
so don't sweat it dude you're a legend i mean both of you are competitive competitive game legends oh my finally i haven't done a secret mission in forever let's see how hard this is more than 15 seconds i have to stay in the air I made a rule, so if I ever come to a secret mission in, in, like, this game, I have to do it. I can't quit it. I have to keep trying until I get it, so we're in for a ride. It's Plat, Diamond, Ascendant, Immortal, then Radiant. Oh my god, man. How do we stay in the air for more than 15 seconds, though? <laughs> I, oh, okay, I see how it works. As soon as I jump, I have to stay up. So I have to hit that other guy up, probably. I gotta use the motorcycle to make my airtime way longer as well. Okay, so let's just switch to it. Because I don't think any other weapon will help us. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> oh, what? Okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, wait, I think I know. I think I have a move to hit them upwards. Maybe. They just added Ascendant recently. Oh my, they're adding ranks? Why would they do that? <laughs> you were top 1% in high school and dropped to like 20%. Yeah, see, that's why. Because in high school, you don't got shit to do. I remember those days. Dude, I remember I was in like the top, like, 5% of the entire world for how much Xbox gamer score I gained in one year. <laughs> that's how that's how many video games I played and how many achievements I got, I guess, on Xbox back then on 360 and Xbox One. Maybe it's when I had both. When I had Xbox One. I don't know. But yeah, I was literally in the top 5% of the world for how much gamer score I gained in a year. That's how you know, like in high school, you really don't got shit to do. When high school kids are like, I'm so busy. It's like, calm down, dude. I played competitive sports in and out of school. And I got the top gamer score. Top 5% gamer score. Like, oh shit, I just jumped for fun. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I just, we're gonna have, this is gonna be a while. I don't know how, like 15 seconds is so long. They have two enemies. I probably have to use them both. I got it! You just gotta spam that one move that brings them upwards. Let's go. Achievement Hunter Pog. No, I was never an Achievement Hunter, man. That's the thing. I wasn't even an Achievement Hunter when I got that. Like, I just played a shit ton of games. <laughs> like, I just played a bunch of games. I didn't like, you know, what's it called? Trophy slash achievement hunt, I guess is what it's called. Completionist. I wasn't a completionist, you know? I didn't look at the achievements like, I gotta get this one. I literally just played so many games that just... All the basic achievements you get for playing the game that they just give to you. It's like, you know? Those achievements where it's like, you started the game, great job, you get an achievement. Like, that's how I got all the achievements. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Oh, also, you guys, uh, and you guys watching Mob Psycho season three? I was pretty hyped for that to come back. First episode already was hitting my feelings. I don't know. I just, it's just such a good story. And I just, I love Mob as a character, you know? So good. And Regan. Regan's like one of my favorite characters.
And it's cool because, you know, he's trying to figure out his future and that's kind of like the stage that, you know, we're all in. Being a kid, not quite an adult, figuring out what you want to do. I mean, I guess I got it really, I got to figure it out, but other people around me don't. You've never heard of Mob Psycho 100? Stop. Mob Psycho 100? Dude, if you have not watched Mob Psycho 100, what are you doing? That's literally one of the best anime of all time. It has like such a distinctive art style, but the animation quality is so good. And it's just a crazy good coming of age story, I guess. Um, that's also hilarious and super zany, super creative. Okay, here, I'll, I'll show you how to spell it, but. It's literally, oh my. And season two is like, okay, season one. Okay, the story is kind of like a mix of slice of life and like action packed shit. It's by the same author as One Punch Man, right? Yeah, 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 Arch, Archmage Nodes. It's by the same author as One Punch Man. But honestly, I like it more than One Punch Man. At least the anime. And what's up, Archmage? What should I get? Should I get Slipstream? Nah, I'm never gonna use that. I've used all of these idling. This one's not actually that good, like... Or is it? It costs so much. Charge shot, whatever. Those are whatever. I could save up for this. You can get real impact. Uh, maybe I'll just save up then. Just to go crazy sword master. Gun stinger is like the only reason I'd use the shotgun. What's two sometimes just shooting? Two at once? I want to see what this is. You've not watched One Punch Man? Oh my god, what are you doing? My
This is crazy. So never don't... Uh, what? Always use this sword while you're in Devil Trigger state, I guess. Oh my, hold S Sin Devil Trigger? What the f Oh, so it charges automatically while I hold this only? Die, man. What? That was ass. I'm going to die. I'm so dead, man. There's no chance I'm surviving this, is there? Oh, now you don't need to be in Swordmaster style to do freaking air rave, eh? That's so interesting. It's better this way, though. Oh, I'm so screwed, man. I'm going to die. I am actually so screwed. What? I'm so dead. I got him to half health. This is gonna be tough. I can't use a gold orb, right? That's cheating. I can't. I even have so many gold orbs, it's cheating, right? I can't do it. Oh my god, man. This is tough. This is tough. They give me a gold orb every single time I log in, but I'm not allowed to use them. Like, ugh, it sucks, man. We just gotta play it fair. Let's try this again. Holy shit. Can't believe any of this is still standing. Skip. Here we go. Try not to die.
Oh my god, man. This is tough. Okay, I understand this now. You use your normal devil trigger to charge the other one. That shit's so hard to dodge. Like what? I'm already dead. I tried to activate this. Now I have no health. Oh my, I'm so screwed already. Let's heal up with this double trigger instead. I'm going to die still. As long as you live, you what? Understand. I don't even know when he's attacking me. So I got the Dracula meteor fireball. Please don't damage me. Okay, it didn't damage me. We're fine. Oh, we can get health from this. Oh, never mind. Did we not get health from it? It was just. Oh my, that sucks ass. Heal up! Oh my god, this is redonkulous. Go. Need to dodge these attacks better. What? I knew it was coming! Oh, I'm fucked. What? Oh, I got him to half again. Oh, fuck. I did not get any better. I have to remember to um switch to Swordmaster before I transform, maybe? I think it said I did something different. It's so weird now because, like, Swordmaster with his new sword does something totally different. This, this is how you do air rave. But like, with the new one, it does some different shit, and air rave is always available. I can't believe any of this is still standing. Anyway, let's try this again. This is gonna be a long night of fighting this boss, isn't it? Let me read this again. What it does when I, yeah, in Swordmaster style, it's totally different. Activating Devil Trigger with this equipped Wakanda Swords. With what equipped? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. So it's just automatic, I think. Don't 
I didn't do shit to him. Oh my. What you look like? What? You're a little bitch, man. Stop. It's about to come from behind me too. What? Stop! That's ridiculous. It's coming from behind me. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. Charge it all up. Let's not get hit by stuff. Does that not give me any HP now? What? Oh, don't touch me with that, man. No! What the fuck? Oh, come on. Will I win? Can I do it? Do I even take damage in this form? Oh, I do. I definitely do take damage. One more. Oh, I went with a sliver of health. Thank God. <laughs> oh, that boss fight was rough, man. All this time, and you still don't get it. It is you who does not understand. Oh. Back in time. It has begun. Was that forward in time or back in time? I couldn't even tell, honestly. What's happening? Bad news! Gotta go now! That house plant is pissed off! Still didn't win? Are we gonna win? Matters not. Bad. Bad mission. I died three times. I still got an A. Not bad. I did one mission for an hour. That's crazy. V revealed the truth to Trish. He's in fact one of one part of Dante's brother. Virgil used the power of Yamato to cleave himself in two, separate his human and demon sides into two distinct beings. As V recounted the tale, Dante absorbed rebellion into himself and awakened his true power. He battled Urizen and forced him back, but at the moment Clyphos completed its emergence into the human world. I read I read all of it. Nice. And lady's got her original outfit on. Nice. <laughs> I like her design in this game. At first, I was like, it looks so weird seeing her, like, look so realistic. Same thing with Dante, but I like him now. Well, looks like no one's worse for wear. <laughs> I'm just gonna double check. Looks like he's hey. disappearing. Where did that garbage god go? 
What is your reason after? He's at the top of the Clyphod. It's the other way around, Dante. This is the lowest level of the Clyphod's upper echelon. Human blood is the source of a demon's power. The fruit born through the Clyphod is even more dense than the blood that created it. Its power is unparalleled. Even the almighty Mundus used it to become king of the underworld. Aviv told me everything. Yeah, well, that's a lovely story and all, but as long as we know where to find him. Whoa, you are the infamous Dante. Um, <clears throat> I'm Nicoletta G Goldstein. Sound familiar? <laughs> um, my grandmother is this Nell Goldstein, the, the gunsmith that made all your fancy weapons that you've got. How do I pause this? Can I pause it like this? Is that pause it? Fuck, I just skipped it. Now I'm pissed. I just want to pause. Oh, it's whatever. Consumes red orbs to attack foes? That's bullshit. Oh my, now I have to watch. Oh my, that sucks. I'm going to rewatch this after. That sucks. It must be really strong then. It looks so fun to use though. R1 plus L plus forward plus R. Once you earn a ton- Oh, this is a- It's a gun. Cool. Who do I want to play as? I guess ne Dante, because he has new stuff. I'm pissed. I literally just went to the home screen. So what we're gonna do instead is, um... We're gonna go to the main menu. <laughs> and we're gonna redo this cutscene. Like this. I think that should work. There we go. I'll have to watch the starting part again, but it's whatever. I wanted to pause it to do something, but I'll just wait until after at this point. Well, looks like no one's worse for wear. I think the audio might be a little messed. I'm just but gonna double check. Sounds kind of weird to me. Maybe I'm just tripping. Hey, where did that garbage god go? What is your reason after? He's at the top of the Clyphod. It's the other way around, Dante. This is the lowest level of the Clyphod's upper echelon. Human blood is the source of a demon's power. The fruit born through the Clyphod is even more dense than the blood that created it. Its power is unparalleled. Even the almighty Mundus used it to become king of the underworld. Aviv told me everything. Yeah, well, that's a lovely story and all, but as long as we know where to find him. Whoa, you are the infamous Dante. Um, <clears throat> I'm Nicoletta G Goldstein. Okay, this is where I screwed it up. Sound familiar? Finally, back to where we were. <laughs> um, my grandmother is this Nell Goldstein, the, the gunsmith that made all your fancy weapons that you've got strapped back there. My audio is so messed, though, I think. I'm going to fix it after. <laughs> yeah, there she is. <clears throat> mm, you don't much look like her. Yeah, I got my looks from my daddy. That's about all I got from him. But based on his research, I, I managed to cobble this. Um, it, it, consider it a gift in honor of us finally meeting. I, the uh, music sounds so jank right now. I'll take that. Nico's so cool. Dante. I love how excited she is by that. Too. Why don't you sit this one out? Oh, that you call me dead weight again? No thanks. I've got all the power I need. Right here. 
You don't understand. It's not what I mean. <laughs> Let him go, Dante. Time is a luxury that we can no longer afford. We must chase after him post-haste. What? Does that mean you're going to? I have a duty to see this through. Well, that's all you had to say, Mr. Poetry. I'm gonna go my way, and you guys can go yours. Let's just say that's the best for the cause. I saw that dancing Michael Jackson-esque dancing hat scene because I remember when this game came out, just all the people who were just playing it because it was like a gorgeous looking action game that is just fun. People who never played the series before just got into it and they're just watching. I mean, they're just playing the game and then that happens. They're just so confused. They're like, what the fuck is happening? It was just like a big meme in the community, I guess. I remember that. Um, but yeah, let's play as Dante. But before that, let me just fix my capture card. I think I just have to unplug it and plug it again. So let's just uh, do that. Maybe unplug everything. Plug it back. Okay. Uh, take this out and put it back. No, that should be good. Now, let's try. Is it better? Is this live? It's not live. I gotta redo everything as well. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, is this... Okay, it's working now. I think the audio might be fixed. I just gotta fix the video. But, uh, just do that. Okay, now I hope it's fixed. If it's not, then I have no idea. All right. I guess we can test by just going here and listen to the music. Sounds normal to me. I might want to customize this. Can I like take off guns I don't use? Oh shit, right. This must have new. Oh, we can use drive now. That's so fun to use. Swords formation. What does this do? Automatically attack, evade, and block on your behalf. That's such a good move. I'm 100% getting this. And drive is just so fun. So you have to. And now I still have enough for um, overdrive is so cool too, but we'll do that later. I do want sword master three. And are any of these good? Carpet the area around you with countless red orbs that will damage enemies on contact. That's interesting. They're just homing and they just I mean, they're not homing. They're like a shield. It's like eight trigram, 64 palms protection. What is this? Bring them towards. Wait, flick damage on all, all enemies by set hat while absorbing red orbs. If you have perfect timing when you catch the hat. Increases orbs earned and orbs expended. Use more orbs for more attack power. What the f How does this thing work? I need to test out in the void right now. Like, what is... What is Gunslinger doing with this? Yo, what is this, dude? It's actually so loud too, I have to turn it down, sorry. <laughs> That, it's still pretty loud, but it's not it's not as bad. Uh okay. 
But yeah, I'm kind of confused. Like, this, you can shoot it, and I'm losing... I'm losing orbs. If I hold it. If I use it mid-air, same thing. If I use that mid-air. And they just drop red orbs if I hit them with that. But it doesn't make me lose it. This is so, so weird. How do I... So that's forward. That's back. Oh, is this the thing that I just unlocked, right? I keep losing orbs, though. I don't know how to not lose orbs anymore. <laughs> it just keeps going. Or do I... Oh, you can finish by doing it again. Shit. Dinner lurk. Hey, thanks for lurk, boss. I'm just trying to figure out how this new gun works. It's so weird and different, but it looks fun. What does that do, man? Like... What's the thing I actually want to use on this? So this... Don't really want to do that, because I want to keep my Rorbs. Um... That is actually pretty decent, but it does get rid of my orbs. I want to kind of save this for when I've unlocked everything I want to, not when I'm saving up for stuff. So wait, what does this do? Making enemy it hits drop red orbs when struck with a weapon other than Dr. Faust. Okay, so this makes them drop more red orbs. Okay, any hits make you yourself lose? Oh, shit. Interesting. What about, like, the gunslinger, um, move? What does this do? So if I press this... Oh, so this is just better, then, than the other one, because you yourself don't risk losing orbs when you hit them with this. Back, then, R2. Wait, what? Magic cat. Oh yeah, I did this before. Come on. So this just makes it go separate from him. But it still wastes all your red orbs, so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll use set hat and I'll use this. And maybe I'll just Maybe I'll use set hat and like maybe this, but nothing else. I'm just gonna get extra. You're gonna play a comp game now, so you'll be lurking. Hey, thanks for the lurk. Thanks for coming. Good luck with the games, of course. And yeah, I hope you win. Okay, that's how you use it. That's it. Don't waste your orbs. Just only use the ones that increase orbs. Screw the other ones. This could be a good one to get eventually, but right now it's not that important. I think I should get Swordmaster style level 4. And I'm just going to try everything it gives first to see if it's worth it. So, while on the ground, press R1 back to forward. Alright, oh, this is not... What's it called? Dude, 
Dude, all of his combos are different now. I totally didn't even realize. Prop Shredder, you cannot use anymore. Unless you do it like this way, which is one, two, and then... If I do a long enough combo with the sword, it might start glowing. Anyway, so... Forward to back and tap. Oh, it's this. It's the classic. The, the big Dante combo. Which is, which is always fun to do. When you have a single enemy left, you're like... Oh, whoa. That is so interesting. So you can have them float away while you do this, maybe. And walk up to them while shooting them. Wait, that hits them up? Why is it so crazy? Mid-air, it does the same thing. This, it does that. I'm so confused, man. Like, freaking why I have to make it so complicated. <laughs> no, it's fine. I like it. But this is hard to do. It's back to forward and then you spam. Alright. And then, what else we got? We got... Wheelie jump 2, which is just, I guess it's just better. What's different about that? Goes higher? It just goes higher, I guess. Let's try this again. I think I can keep him up there longer. If I do this, and then this, and I spam this again. Well, I fucked that up. Okay, but anyway, not that crazy. And then this, though, equipped in blow mode, which is this. Back and this. Oh, we got a real impact now, boys. That is what I was looking for. This is nothing compared to that. So if I hold this, it goes all the way up. If I just do, just back. Wait, what? Oh, I just have to be close enough. That's what it is. Distort it? Can you distort it in this game? Maybe. I don't know. Did that do more? I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> In kick mode, there's something else though. What does this do? Um, oh, it has to be ignition mode on. Whoops. That's fun, I guess. Does it do the whole thing? Like, I can't stop it in the middle of it? Oh yeah, that's a big attack. Like, you cannot stop that from happening. Interesting. I guess that's everything, though. I think it's worth unlocking. That was all me testing if I wanted to unlock Swordmaster level 4 for 50k. And I'm saying yes. <laughs> okay, we'll get more Rorbs now because we have the hat. So don't worry.
How's it going, though, boss? I played one mission today, and it was a long one. I fought Urizen, and I still didn't beat him after fighting for, like, the fourth time. Come on. Why does it say something's new here? What have I not looked at? Oh, that's what it was. Sin Devil Trigger has stuff that I didn't even look at. Sin Stinger looks familiar. Sin Inferno. Oh my god, there, Dante has so many things to unlock. Holy shit. They're so cool. Demolition. Okay. Quadruple S. With triple S rank and Sin Devil Trigger. Wait, what? Press square while it's glowing to disengage your transformation. So it allows you to unleash your sin devil tree power for a moment and attack. Uh say what now? Whatever, I'm not getting that anytime soon. We'll figure it out. You can always replay a mission, unlock more stuff. Oh, true. I've never done that, but with this game, I probably will. It's so fun. And it looks so pretty. Let's just do another mission. It's for single sin devil trigger attacks, so you don't burn your whole meter. Oh, I, okay. Like an EX movement Street Fighter. I see. Here we go again. Probably got more orbs than usual because I hit him with the hat, but didn't feel like it. <laughs> I guess that was just an intro enemy fight, so it was supposed to be short. But. I gotta get used to this too. So now he don't use Sword Master to do freaking air rave. And now I gotta like press at the same time to do like extra damage or. so crazy. I can do it forward too. Please. Works a lot like his summon swords, like Virgil's summon swords. I played Virgil for not enough time, yeah. Sadly. Fuck. Dude, these shield guys, I still don't know how to get past behind them easily. These little buggers. God damn it, man. Oh, get out of there, Dante. They're gonna do their super armor attack.
Just like the old Angelos from 4. Except slightly different though. Because I can't... You know. Oh my god! Let's try this. Just for fun. I don't even know what's happening on screen right now, man. Oh! Oh my god. Come here. Come here. Oh! His summon swords. I, like, I remember I had them. They were his gun, though, his summon swords, right? So, like, I had mapped the trigger, and I kind of just spammed it, right? But this, now it's a button. I just got to press it at the same time, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. You can break their shields. How, how like, I never understood how you break their shields. Is it just, like, once you reach a certain threshold of damage, like, in a certain time, like, there's just an invisible kind of meter that fills up? Is that how it works? Because I just got lucky and it just like broke sometimes. Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, man! I need to use my hat! Oh, well, not worth it. I need to kill this thing. Piss me off. Oh, what? I don't even know what just happened at the end. Oh my god. It was a button in three before you could remap oh true i never played in three you're right i only played him in four something's making a lot of noise you can also summon swords outside of devil trigger by holding down the sword button oh right i totally forgot about that i bought that i keep forgetting man i gotta just hold this oh i'm wasting my rorbs What is this? Oh, it's the turret from earlier. And hey, what's up, Resty? How's it going, dude? 
Oh! Let's get this first and foremost. I might as well charge this up a little bit. So we don't waste. I guess we just go down, right? I can smell that piece of shit from up here. It needs to be flushed. I probably had full health. I don't know why I did that. I have 14,000. Is that enough for something good? No, why do I keep doing this? I'm wasting perfectly good health. Been watching Jujutsu Kaisen, some good stuff. Are you done yet? Have you watched the whole season yet? Or are you like close to being done? How far are you? But yeah, I really like Jujutsu Kaisen. Definitely one of the more fun, more entertaining new gen kind of shonens for me. You're on episode 12? Halfway. Not bad. But yeah, thanks for reminding me about that Archmage. I totally forgot I could do that. Um. This. Nope. This could be good eventually. It, am I full Swordmaster level? Okay, yeah. Now I can focus on doing the other ones, which will probably be Gunslinger next because I never really do air release. All I really need is air, air block and ground block for this. But I wonder what the later ones are. So maybe I should just get this. Gunslinger level 3 costs more. Feels like the writer was a philosopher. Like many, like many writers, right? <laughs> I'm glad you like it though. When you first started using them, you would just summon them and switch styles? Okay. Summon and switch styles. They're not hard to get used to, um... Hard to use once you get used to them. Okay. I'll, I'll get there. I'm sure. Sin Stinger looks so fun. I might just get this just cause. I am gonna use Sin Devil Trigger. I want a new attack. And I do really enjoy these Devil May Cry games. They're really cool. They're really fun. And they're just so epic, you know? There's nothing like them, honestly. I guess Bayonetta is the closest thing, but it's different, you know? That I've played, at least. Is this a dead end? Can I shoot it? Am I dumb? Oh, there's a hole here. Never mind. Ow! There's too many things! They're all going! Oh my god. Okay, no, now we set that up. Switch guns. Okay, let's try to do this. This is tough, man. Oh! Holding the button down to do it? I don't- There's so many things happening! No, stop! If I hit them with a shotgun while they're charging up, I don't think they do it. Oh my god, you can hold the button! Let's try this again. Ouch. 
Here we go. Oh, I'm so far behind on chat, but I saw, are you getting Bayonetta 3? And I will say, yes, I am. I still have to play Bayonetta 2 though, which I'll probably play on stream. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Gotta hold it again. Oh my god, this is tough. Camera, please, please, please. Oh, I'm so, so dead unless I gain some health back. It's time to dance. Ouch. Spinny things! Why are there so many of them? And why do they keep spin dashing at me? Oh! I might die, guys. Oh, get away from him. Oh my god, this is tough. Um, by summon them. Okay, I read that. Are you gonna be in a three? I read that. Do you finish Xenoblade 3? I wish, man. I I just have not had the time during school. It's just Okay, that's enough. Come back. And let's mark you with that. And then do this properly. Oh, what the f I didn't even see you! Oh, and then I think I'm on Swordmaster all the time because I'm dumb. There's so many still! Holy shit, I suck! Don't do it. Don't do it! I'm trying to guard it, but I don't know when they're gonna launch! And there's a spawner here, isn't there? And I've just been... I didn't even break it! I'm just a dumbass, dude. And there's spawners all over here? Oh my god. Did you flunk out a real guard already? 
I haven't been using as much in this game, to be honest. I want to use Swordmaster, but I'm just not good at switching styles. I can do spinnies too. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Launch him, launch him. Full combo here. Okay, he's dead. Okay, finally. Oh my god, I suck. Finally over, I think. The music's still going. There's a turret. No, ever since, like, I became Dante as the character, like, I got to play as Dante, I mean, they just throw even more enemies at you. I swear. I think Nero's still way easier to play, but... But yeah, as I was saying, dude, I want to play Xenoblade so bad, but I swear the only time I actually play video games during the week right now because of how busy school is, is when I'm streaming for like two hours. Like two or three hours max during this time, right? That's the only time I'm actually playing video games during the week now. I don't have like off time. Every time I'm at, I come back from campus, like I gotta do all my freaking assignments and shit. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but this weekend, since it's Canadian Thanksgiving, I'd get a, a one day break. <laughs> I get a long weekend. So, uh, I will play some Xenoblade this weekend. Thank God for that. Get that work done. No, I actually finished my assignment this year tomorrow early. I finished it today. I submitted it already, and I'm like, I'm chilling for the rest of the week. And I have a long weekend, so I'll probably play more video games tomorrow, too. It's nice. I did my first midterm. It went okay. You know? It's going good. <laughs> How's the new job going? Rest you. Oh, you start next Monday. Oh, okay. So you start on Canadian Thanksgiving. What a day to start. <laughs> okay, I guess there's nothing else in here. We're just dropping down the middle. That must be the end of the mission, right? Because that room is like, like a boss fight. Long ways to go. Should be fun. Gotta catch up on, uh... Jujutsu Kaisen, you know? Are you gonna watch the Chainsaw Man anime when it comes out? It starts on Tuesday. And Bleach finally comes back on Monday, I think. Crazy. It's crazy. Blue Lock? Does Blue Lock start this weekend? There's so many anime starting that I'm actually watching this time. You weren't really into Chainsaw Man? Aw, oh, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. It's so good. I feel like I feel like if you got further into it, you might understand the hype. Because at the start, it's just about like the author of Chainsaw Man, like he just what's the word? Like he subverts your expectations constantly. You know? He's just he's just different. Like, I don't know if you read the the one shot that I told that I told you about called Goodbye Airy by that same author. Read that. It's like really short. It's just a one shot, right? But read that. And if you don't like that, then you probably won't cha like Chainsaw Man. But if you really like that, like me, then you'll probably like Chainsaw Man and Fire Punch. Actually, Fire Punch is way different. You should just read Fire Punch. Even if you don't like Chainsaw Man. Is it JJK good? Uh, I'm, I mean, I've never read Jujutsu Kaisen. And like the first season, it doesn't get that far. But, um, I would say it's on the same level, yeah. Like, I really like it. 
Oh shit. Sunil, been a while. How's it going? What are you saying oh shit for? Bold statement. <laughs> I mean, we'll have to see when the anime comes out too, how the anime compare, but I've never read the JJK manga, so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, dude, I'll literally send you a link to the one shot again. It's like 50 pages, but most of it is just pictures because the way this guy like writes his manga, like he, he draws a lot of pictures to like set the scene. I don't know. You'll have to see what I mean. It's a quick read is what I'm saying. And I feel like you should read that to see if you'll like Chainsaw Man or not. Because it's kind of a representative example of what this author does, you know? I will send it to you. It's called Goodbye Airy, though. Oh my god, I have so many Rorbs. I guess I'm playing as V. I don't know what I would get. Um, yeah, I maybe I should save up for this. Because no, I would never use that. I'd send it. I will. As soon as I'm done stream, I will. I won't forget. Don't worry. I'm hyped for get, to get you on Tatsuki Fujimoto greatness. You already finished Gyo? What's the ranking of the Junji Ito manga? I mean, Tomi's at the top for you. Is Uzumaki or Gyo better? In your opinion, which one did you enjoy more? Yeah, that's the question. Which one did you enjoy more? Not which um which is better. That's a different question. Who's Maki you like more? That's fair. Have I read Gyo? No, I've never. I've only like seen like maybe a panel of it with like a fish with legs. Like that's really massive or something. I don't know. I know nothing about it other than its title and like something about a fish. <laughs> it's the weirdest shit. <laughs> oh, like, what do you mean? Without like spoiling it, I might as well just read it. Is it? It's probably not that long, right? It's gotta be longer than Tomi, which I'm still not done reading because with school shit, I literally just pass out. I'm doing homework and I'm like, all right, see ya. Bedtime. <laughs> I've not read much manga other than on like the bus. I'm reading GTO still. Every once in a while. It's like 15 chapters. Okay, yeah, I'll just read it after I'm done, Tony. Tommy, and then we'll talk about it. You want to spoil a panel? No, you can spoil a panel. I don't care that much about it. Like, if you spoil one, like, it's fine. Send in the Discord or something. In weeb shiz. Let everybody see how weird it is. <laughs> or just to me. These legs that attach to bodies, but they like feed off gas. So the legs attach to humans through their butt and they just blow it up. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, Junji Ito is like very creative with his weird, you know, horror imagery, you know? It's funny because, like, you see him in interviews and stuff, you think he'd be, like, really creepy, but he's just a super nice guy. He likes cats and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty funny, too. I guess he's some humor in his manga, though, too. So I guess that's evident. It's like a tube going up their butt and in their mouth. It's disgusting. <laughs> Jeez. Spit roasting them. <laughs> Uh, like the author himself, non-threatening, but his manga is crazy. What did I just jump into? Say, I've been a while. Hope you're doing well. We're talking about a manga by Junji Ito, who is famous for horror manga. It's basically all he draws, I think. Um... But yeah, we're talking about how weird this one is called Gyo. I've not read it, but Space Cowboy here has a mangus. What? Why'd you say that? <laughs> Got him. Boss, are you always going to tell me when the new Berserk chapter comes out? 
because otherwise I don't I don't know when they come out and like every once in a while I'm like have I just like have I just missed it did it come out already do you not want me to no I want you to I really do want you to because I don't follow anything that tells me I'm counting on you to tell me that's why I'm asking you because I need to know I need to know when the new one comes out. You're in three Berserk Discords? Perfect. Just just tell me. Let me know. I'm eager for the next chapter every time. That's another one you gotta read, Resty. Berserk. So good. One of your coworkers quit today and you had to work an entire shift by yourself. Dude, that sucks. What? That's crazy. BRB. No problem, dude. Hope you're not too uh, overworked. Hope you're okay. You have a ton of shit on the, you have a shit ton on the list. Did you finish GTO? No, dude. So like I do take the bus like to campus like frequently, like decently often, but a lot of the time I do walk too. So it depends. So if I'm walking, I don't read while I walk, but if I take the bus, I like read a chapter. So like, what am I at now? I think I'm at like 90. Which is not very high. I'm at, yeah, I'm, I've read 90 chapters out of 200, so I'm not even halfway still. <laughs> I'm not even halfway. I've not been reading as much. And I still have, like, my weekly or bi weekly or monthly manga that I'm still reading. Like, I'm reading so much now. I'm literally, I'm a manga reader and an anime watcher. I just have no time anymore. <laughs> oh my. Dude. I can't, yeah, here, li I'll literally send you the one shot right now, as we're just chatting about manga and anime. Um, goodbye, Eri. Where can you read this? Okay, yeah, this is it. Or oh, wait, this... You need the double page spreads though. Will this website Will it show them side by side? I hate when you have double page spreads and you're reading on like a site and like it like puts them above each other cuz then it like ruins it. I hate that. Um maybe you can read on the official site. You need to you need a hyperbolic time chamber to read it. Dude, same. That's what I was talking about. Like, everyone's asked that question, like interviews or whatever, that quirky question. Like, if you had a superpower, what would it be? People are like, oh, like, I want to fly. I want to teleport. Whatever. Mine would actually be something that's not too crazy that it would draw the attention of the government or whatever. You know, nothing like that. Because if you can fly, people are going to know. It's, Yo, is that a dude flying? You're going to be famous. Paparazzi's never gonna leave you alone. Government's gonna want you and test you to try and like make soldiers. Who knows? But I personally would have the ability to not have to sleep. And if I wanted to sleep, I can sleep for like five minutes, however long I want. I can be like, I wanna sleep for an hour right now. And I can use it to like pass time if I wanted, but I'm not gonna do that. I can have that feeling of feeling all cozy, like. Getting 12 hours of sleep, but I only slept for a minute, five minutes, whatever. And guess what? I get so much more time in the day to do all this shit. I could read and watch everything. Play, pay so much, play so many video games. That'd be amazing. I dream about that. It's never going to happen though, sadly. How would that work out logically? Yo, it's, it's not going to happen. All right. It's just, <laughs> I think it's a decent way to answer it on the interview because they're like, wow, what a hardworking guy. But I, I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't say I was going to watch anime and read manga. I said I would just, you know, do other stuff. But, you know, you get the idea. I would have more time to do everything. <laughs> Show me your double, pred, double page spread, Jesus. I don't know what that means, dude. Is that my butt? You mean my butt? Dude, where do I... Read Goodbye Airy online. Please? I need, I need this in perfect condition for someone who is not sure they like Tatsuki Fujimoto. Is this it? 
Your power would be gaslighting? You already have that power. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. Everyone has that power. People would have to believe whatever I said whenever I said it. Okay, that's different than what I thought you meant. That's pretty cool, I guess. Would you still need to recover from working out? Um, yeah, so like, just it's magic. You sleep for a minute. Like, yes, let's just say this. I sleep for a minute and I will, it'll be the equivalent to me sleeping for 12 hours in, in all, or like a max amount of sleep that's optimal, you know? So yes, I would still recover from working out. Like, I would just skip that. I don't know. <laughs> You'd be the gaslighter. Sir, you are under arrest. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, you're right. My mistake. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Just the gaslight. That's pretty cool, actually. I never thought about that. I wonder if, like, any of these... Oh, wait, this is the one. I, I found a perfect website for you to use, I think. You're going to read this tonight, I hope, Resi, and you're going to understand Tusky Fujimoto Greatest. I hope I'm not hyping it up too much. Like, don't expect anything. It's probably garbage. It's probably bad. Just just read it, you know, going blind. But I'll, I'll send it right now. Um... see there we go since you on discord hell yeah but yes gaslighting would be a very cool power too but mine I would still take mine just cuz having all that extra time if you want would be nice it's like, you can still sleep if you want, but you don't need to. You don't need to sleep anymore. You can use the entire night to get shit done, right? That'd be pretty epic. But, speaking of sleep, kind of do need to sleep. I do have a class tomorrow. Although it is, this is the one night I could sleep in a little bit. Every other day, I have to wake up at like 7 or 8 a.m. But, um, you know. I can't stay up forever tonight. Why not just get super speed though? Super speed is cool. Like it's one of the most versatile abilities. All right. I give you that. But I don't know. Then you have the issue of if somebody knows that you have super speed, everybody is going to know that you have literal super speed. If you just don't sleep, people are just going to think you're a weirdo who doesn't sleep or like doesn't need to sleep and he just looks fine. It's like, how do you, how do you not sleep, but you don't look any tired at all? Like, how does this not affect you? It would just be like an anomaly, you know, but people wouldn't know that you have a power, but if you have super speed, although it's great in so many ways, you know, people are going to know that you have super speed. The government's going to be like, we need to test on him, take his blood, let's make super soldiers, whatever we need. Like, you're going to be a celebrity. Paparazzi's going to be like the fastest man alive. Oh. Why don't you compete in the Olympics? Why don't you set a world record? Like, I don't know. It would just draw way too much attention. Interesting. You should write a comic. I mean, maybe one day. We'll see. I've always... I've, I've read so many manga and, like, started reading comics. Because starting with some Spider-Man, of course. As you know. And I'd be down to try writing a comic, even though it would be shit. Like, try it out for fun indefatigable man that'd be that'd be such a good comic right just the daily life <laughs> uh the struggles superhero comic of the guy who doesn't need to sleep what does he do he just trains all night he's the strongest man in the world i mean there's people on steroids though so that wouldn't make any sense he would do the one punch man workout twice a day so he's twice as strong as saitama That'd be crazy. <laughs> because he doesn't need to sleep. So he can just do it twice a day. He can sleep for a minute and instantly recover. You know? Like, that's what I said, right? You work out, sleep for a minute, now you're instantly recovered. Your whole body... Oh, I guess you'd have to sleep for more than a minute then. You'd have to sleep for, like, five minutes. Alright? 
and then you'd be fully recovered, your body feels good, work out again. You just do it all night, every night, you'd be the strongest person alive. You'd be stronger than Saitama, twice as bald. No, you're so strong that he keeps his hair. <laughs> I don't know. Now I gotta write it. I'll keep it in the bank. If you guys steal it, I won't be mad, you know? I'll keep it in the memory bank. Maybe one day, write a little comic. I've always wanted to try just like writing a manga, even just like a short kind of one shot. Just because I've read so much of it, I feel like it'd be fun. And I do draw sometimes, so why not? Trisha, you're back. Did you win? Oh, Trisha, Space Cowboy here, one of the homies. He also played a lot of Valorant back in the day. I don't know if you, I don't know if you still play it, Rusty, but Trisha's a big Valorant person. Dude, do it. Ugh, I will. I mean, definitely not during school. Like I said, I literally, I don't even have time for Xenoblade right now, man. <laughs> but I'll remember the idea. I, I'll literally write it down in my notes. I have a couple of ideas for some, uh, some manga that I want to write one day. Ballo Gamer. I don't know about any more. I know, like, a while back, though, Space Cowboy here was a pro. Well, I don't know about pro. Well, not like pro, but, like, he was really good. At Valorant. Diamond is so close. How does it work? So, like... If you if you lose a match, like you just say goodbye to Diamond, or like how does it work? Do you have to win like a certain number of matches out of your next set amount, or does it depend on what ranks of the people you're playing against? Like how does the ranking system even work? Is it like complex, or is it just based on how much you win or how many like kills you get, like? Because I don't even know how, yeah, the rank, there was no ranking in any of the games that I played. I had never ranked, so I never understood the ranking. Every match you get points, depending on how you play and who you're playing against. Okay, so it is kind of complex, like, the system they have. They take into account a lot of stuff. I guess that's good. The only competitive game I used to play was just Call of Duty, like, and that was, like, not really. I mean, there was, like, kind of a ranked system, but didn't really use that. We used, like, the online kind of MLG, UMG, whatever, and just it would schedule games against other people, and we, like, private message each other and have a private match against them kind of thing with the proper rule set. That was the kind of competitive stuff I did, I guess. So I never dealt with the ranking stuff. It's Call of Duty, you just level up, right? You just level up in prestige. Let's screw Call of Duty. I don't play that shit anymore. <laughs> Sometimes you do really well. You get 27 points. Damn. Play the long dark. Yo, um... Resi. I think I own that game. Is the crazy thing. I've never played it, though. It looks really difficult. It looks like a, a large learning curve. It's a good game, I believe you. This game got 19 because even if you did well-ish, the people you're playing with slash against were around the same rank as you. Oh, okay. So you need to play against people with a higher rank and shit on them. Absolutely demolish them and then you get the most points. It's like, wow, yeah, you belong in the big leagues. Clearly, you belong in the big leagues. And they just rank you up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I own the Long Dark. Like, if any of you own, like, a gaming PC and you don't just have an Epic Games account, like, you know, people who made Fortnite, Epic Games, and, like, use their launcher, which the, I guess they're trying to compete with Steam with their store, but, like, you don't actually buy stuff on there. Like, you just, every Thursday... Every Thursday, you go to the store, and you get two to three free games. And sometimes they're good. Like, that's how I got the Long Dark. And you said that's a good game. Like, a lot of the time, they give pretty good games. What the fuck? You didn't know about this? I swear I say this all the time. 
I got it for free. No, yeah, just get the Epic Games launcher. They give free games every week, every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern. They give two, two or three free games. And near Christmas, near the holiday season, they literally give a free game every day leading up to Christmas. It's like the 12 days of Christmas. Like so many free games. And they're actually good games. Like I have so many good games on here. Fortnite money, right? They're putting so much marketing into this launcher and store, but I swear nobody actually uses this as a substitute for Steam. Like, nobody I know uses Epic Games Store as a substitute for Steam. Like, some games are, like, exclusive to this store, but it's usually temporary. Like, eventually it'll come to Steam, and that's when people buy it, because nobody wants to use this launcher. Does Steam have a monopoly? I, I don't know. You'd be interested to see how many gamers use either launcher? Yeah, like, I've never personally met anybody who uses this launcher, like, seriously. Only people that I know that use this launcher are, like, me. They get the free games here, and the only reason they ever use this is to just play the free games here. GOG is amazing. I've used GOG, like, a few times. Not much, though. And Trisha, you said it also depends on who you're playing to, like the character slash role. Oh, that matters too? That is hella complex. I did not know that. Their Galaxy Launcher works really well. Wait, actually, I think I used that once, and it, it like, it glitched out. I was kind of pissed at it. <laughs> I was just trying, what was I trying to do? Oh yeah, I think I finally got an Amazon Prime account on like Prime Day and I just got the free games and I just wanted to like see my free games in my library and it took forever. Like it was so like, un it wasn't intuitive, I guess, in the UI or whatever. Like it just took me a while and I'm literally, I work with computers every day <laughs> and I'm literally IT help and you know, you know, your UI's or like there's if there's issues that like for someone like me that's kind of shitty but you know maybe i didn't give it enough of a shot i'll go back to it one day appreciate older pc games that's the only place to get most of them legally that is true though that's how i have um metal gear solid i think that's the only way you can get metal gear solid and that's where i have it i still haven't played it yet i'm saving it for stream i guess <laughs> baldur's gate Neverwinter Nights. Neverwinter, I like played a little bit of back in the day. I'm assuming that's Neverwinter Nights is just like the expansion or like the sequel or something. Baldur's Gate. I'll wait for Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Other older PC games will have mod tabs on how to get them to run properly. Damn. All right. All right. But now, here. Look at this. Epic Games launcher actually kind of sucks. Like, it takes so long to load your library. Like, why would anyone want to use this? That took like 10 seconds. I had to wait. But um, these are some examples of all of these. I haven't paid a single penny for any of these. Keep that in mind. I have not paid anything. All right. And look at all these games that I have. Some of them are ones you would recognize. They're not just random shitters, like random indie games that nobody's ever heard of. Like some of them obviously are, like these three out of 10, I've never heard of this in my life. But I just got it because it was free, right? I got Alan Wake, which I've definitely heard of, Observer 20XX, um, Alien Isolation, got all the Amnesia games. I got Among Us for free. <laughs> Uh, Ape Out, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Ark, Survival Evolve, all the Batman trilogy, all the Bioshock. Oh, I forgot I got all the Bioshock. I literally bought this collection and I freaking played half of the first one and then I got it for free right after. I was kind of pissed. Got Borderla Borderlands 2. This is where I played Blair Witch, one of the first games I played on stream. I got Borderlands 3 on here too. What the fuck? I didn't know that. I got Borderlands 3 for free. I think I got that last Christmas. Guys, if you don't have this, make sure you get Epic Games Launcher before, like, December. Because they will give you a free game every day leading up to Christmas. And they're always, like, 
high-end games. The Epic version of the Batman games are a little busted. Wait, really? I played, um, I fully played Arkham Knight on here. Because I played these ones before, but then I just played this on Epic, and it worked perfectly fine. So I don't know. Use Heroic Launcher in place of Epic? I've never even heard of that. But yeah, what else do I got? I got Control, which I already bought. Celeste, one of the best indie games in recent memory that I can think of. I freaking love that game. This one that I would never buy, but it looked kind of cool. But when I played the demo, I didn't like it that much. There's so many. New ones, too. Like, fairly new games. Just come on here for free. Enter the Gungeon. Oh, my God. Look at look at how many, too. Like, I remember they gave out GTA 5 for free on here, and it was, like, the biggest thing ever. Like, everybody got the launcher at that point. Because anybody who didn't have it on PC, like, now they have it. There's, oh my god. There's so many I need to play on here too. There's a gang of games you would play. Dude, there's so many that like anybody would play on here. Free games are nice, but unfortunately you're sometimes playing the worst PC version of the game. Wait, what do you mean by that? The worst PC version of the game. Is it not the same? How is it different? I think the long dark is in here though. Oh yeah, I still have to play Prey. This one's good. I got both overcooked if I ever want to play that. Like, I have it this free on like everything though. <laughs> this is, oh my, there's so many stuff to play, dude. Rogue Legacy, all the Tomb Raiders, Sonic Mania, absolute banger song in a game, one of the only good ones. <laughs> uh, There's so many, dude. This game, Long Dark, there it is, we found it. I do own it. See that? Batman games are kind of jank. Had to buy the Steam version. Interesting. I didn't have any problems. I mean, which one did you play? Which uh, Batman game did you play on Epic that had issues? I wonder. Because I played through Arkham Knight and it, it worked perfectly fine. Pillars of Eternity crashed a lot too. Oh shit. Wait, dude, you live in Canada. <laughs> you think this is what Canada looks like? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, kinda. I went really far north and like it kinda looks like this in the winter time. Maybe. It kinda does. It takes place in Canada. Yo, that's sick. I didn't know that. I thought you were just joking. I'll have an advantage. Oh, yeah, for sure. Home turf. First one, Asylum. Oh, yeah. I never tried playing Asylum on here, actually. So, damn. Good to know. Don't play it on here. Play it on freaking Xbox 360 instead. <laughs> or PS4, whatever. Or buy it on Steam. It probably goes on sale for like three bucks. Good luck if you do. The thing is, like... Actually, wait, I did play a bit of Asylum on here, because I remember, like, three years ago, I literally played Arkham Asylum on literally my school laptop on campus. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a nerd. I played it. I mean, maybe I just didn't play long enough to run into issues. The Witness, dude. There's so many. And I've played so many of these already. And, like... The only thing bad about this is like when you buy a game, you don't play it yet, and then it becomes free on here. You're like, shit. And that's happened with me and XCOM 2. I bought XCOM 2. I had not played it yet. I haven't even finished XCOM 1 yet. I'm just like, oh, it's on sale? I definitely, I love XCOM. I'm going to get the second one just now while it's on sale, and then I got for free. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> but yes, this is my PSA to everyone. Get Epic Games Launcher, get the free games. Even if they don't run properly, there's a chance that they might run properly. Alright? And it doesn't take much. You we were also going to stream Wolfenstein The New Order, but had major frame rate drops and hiccups on this version. Going to get on Steam one day. Damn. Maybe that's so... I guess just Epic Games Launcher is just not optimized well. I know like... Yeah, it's so weird. 
Like the, like I said, the library is so jank. Like it takes ten seconds to load all the titles. It's not even like paginated, paginated anymore, which makes it load faster. They're worth getting to play on your own time, but I always have to extensively te test Epic Games ahead of time before I stream them. No, yeah, that's fair. I've never, I don't think I've actually streamed an Epic, oh no, I played all of Bear, Blair Witch on stream, actually. Didn't I? Yeah, I played, I've, yeah, I've never had any issues. I'm hoping that I'm just, I'll, I'm a lucky one. But free is free, right? Free is free. Free games. Especially near the holidays. That's especially important. Like, you, you get so many, and that's when they give the good ones, too. Get on it. And, yo, Resty, you better read that one shot I sent you. I don't care when, but you better read it. Prioritize it. It's so good. It's short. 50 pages, I think. Maybe? Is it 50? Or is it... Maybe it's longer. But it goes by quick. You'll see. And then tell me what you think. But I will have to to raid somebody and go to bed. Let's see who's online. Ooh, okay. I think I raided two ants last time, so I'm going to go with another person that I see online. Actually, let me check if they're still live and not, like, ending right now. Okay, yeah, I think maybe... I think we're good. Before we go, yes, you have some time before the raid starts. No, Trisha, why? You're too nice, but I appreciate it. Thank you for cheering for me. You are, you are my number one fan when it comes to bits, I think. So I think you proved yourself. Yes, Resty, you know the raid message. We just stare at them. Show them the shutting gun. Trisha, you better you better participate in the raid. Just let them know we're watching with the shutting gun eyes. Have a good night. You guys have a good night too. It was fun. I'll be back next week for some more Devil May Cry 5. And yeah, I'm excited. Talk about anime. We'll talk about the first episode of Chainsaw Man that's going to air on Tuesday for any bleach fans we talk about the first episode of bleach Ugh, so much anime to talk about I love it I love it peace out, peace out everybody thanks for coming thanks for lurking for any lurkers I appreciate all of you and I'll catch you next time stay healthy stay safe have fun in Venus stream peace